we live? What's good, great people? I am Ezo Moon, and I have a special guest in the building today. Entrepreneur, philanthropist, Giovanna shall be joining me for a frank conversation, and I am so excited. I want to give a big shout out to my sponsor, Red Crown. Join the Crown Club by going to K-R-O-W-N-K-L-U-B.com to purchase your fit, your drip, all that amazing stuff for your body. It's clothes, y'all. You put on the clothes, and it changes how you look to the world. And yeah, all right. Um... Are we live? Hola. What's going on? How are you? I'm well. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. No complaints. No complaints. No complaints. Now, I got to ask, where are you originally from? I'm um, born and raised in the Bronx. Yeah. But I I have a little uh, Caribbean descent. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you more so you might be you might be related to my son then. That's 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 cool. Cause he, he, what's the lineage? What's the lineage he, to your son? So he's like, and I, I he's um Nigerian, Jamaican, okay. and Creole. Okay. Yeah. That's a and good combination. It is. <laughs> it's an amazing combination. Now you know what's what's even more amazing is that he's also a Scorpio on top of this. So you oh. Can, yeah. So you can imagine he's either gonna rule the world or destroy the world, but it's gonna be one or the other. <laughs> he's gonna rule the world that's what we're gonna claim <laughs> amen amen to that one <laughs> <laughs> no i don't have um haitian or jamaican it's uh barbados and irish oh okay 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 yeah. that's real now i i wonder um you know i we've we've had multiple interactions on over this here social media app and mm -hmm. you played an instrumental part in me growing my my platform as well as me being able to you know get in touch with people that you know i i wouldn't normally be able to get in touch with and i want to say not only just publicly thank you for that but i'll you know i have some questions for you no um, problem i i wonder you know what is it about you what qualities is it that you feel like you have that makes people want to trust you with their public image I just think I'm authentic. Um, what you see is what you get with me. There's no facade. Um, and if I'm not someone that's passionate about what you're doing and who you are as a potential client, I'm just not going to align myself with you. You know, um, the time that I started doing PR was 2011 when I launched my company. Um, so I would like to call myself kind of old school, traditional public relations um, practitioner opposed to, um, you know, no disrespect to the upcoming PR um, reps that's out here. It's a little bit more of a gimmick. It's more of, you know, clout kind of sort of, or like yeah. to be seen. And so that's just not me. And so, you know, <laughs> hey, Tasha, I just like to think that, you know, I'm a person who's passionate about my work. I'm creative and I take the time to study my craft, you know, so this is something that I went to school for. It's not something, hi Gigi, it's not something that I'm just doing as a pastime. Got you. Yeah. So now, now you're, you, you're, you're a creator, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, about how much of your creativity goes into, in, into, you know, you establishing these connections that you've established? A hundred percent. My network equals my net worth. And yeah. relationships carry you really far in life and definitely in business for certain in entertainment industry. So, you know, um, I take my relationships very seriously. I value my relationships and my contacts and whoever I've been able to grow a relationship with. I don't take that for granted because it's not something that you come across um, working in entertainment. You definitely have to be careful of, you know, friends. Or yeah. throwing that title around, as, you know, friends. So I don't take that for granted at all. Talk to me about that, you know, because I'm someone that, you know, that um, I can admit to being someone that has thrown that title around. Oh, yeah, you know, I feel mm -hmm. like, oh, we've had this great conversation. Oh, we're, you know, I, I feel like we're vibing. And then, oh, man, you know, we can definitely be friends and blah, you know. Mm -hmm. but, Talk to me about being able that that power of discernment that you have, you know, being able to say, hey, no, this is this is business, and mm -hmm. you know, at, and that's to this point, and from here, right here, this is, you know, this is we can be cool, but you know, I know who my friends are. Oh yeah, definitely. You you definitely have to, um, like you said, have discernment, and you just it has to be organic. 
Um, and there are relationships that serve a purpose. They serve business, you know, they serve resource, or either they have the potential to grow to be something that's longstanding. And I've been fortunate enough to, you know, grow some friendships that I could say that we met through the business that we're in, but right. like, you're my friend, you're my tribe confidant. And then I have some people that it's like, yeah, I know them. I know of them. Right. Um, they're an acquaintance. Right. And so I have about maybe five good girlfriends that we just so happen to meet for the love of, you know, entertainment and doing public relations that I know, like, they're going to keep it real with me if I'm slipping, if I'm slacking, um, if I'm not, you know, just not being the best Giovanna that I can be, they're going to let me know. And then there's some other people who is just like, you know, you reach out to them on a whim, kind of like you might need a contact or, you know, vice versa. And it's not like, you know, there's no bad blood. We're not hanging out. You don't know my personal business. You're an acquaintance. You're a colleague. And it's nothing wrong with that. Right. You know, like people come into your life and they serve purposes. And, <laughs> and that's what you just got to be real with yourself about what purpose it is that they're going to serve. No, that's real. See, I, um, I'm like I said, I'm still trying to make sure that I that I figure out that balance, you know. Mm -hmm. And I I wonder, you know, does it come with time? Does it come with experience? Or is it supposed to come with time? Or is it supposed to come with the experiences that you have? Where you know, um, like, because I I feel like especially in this industry, it's so easy for people to as they try to climb up, pull other people down while they absolutely moving up upwards. Mm -hmm. Um, have you ever have you ever had faced that? Um, <laughs> have I? <laughs> oh Lord, oh Lord, but not, not, not that. <laughs> and I, that's like another conversation for a different platform. I'm not yeah. going to air it out, but I've definitely had my experiences early on. Um, and so it definitely comes with age. It comes with experience. It comes with wisdom. Um, and it just comes with knowing who you are as a person. Um, some people will keep themselves attached to people just for the look of things and like the association. I don't care about that. You know what I mean? Like I know who's going to answer my, my phone call if I call them because I need something opposed to like me flicking it up with them and posting it front and like, that's my circle. You know what I mean? So, um, my phone is going crazy with the notifications. Um, yeah. You, you, you a wanted woman. You are a wanted woman. What? Like. Yeah, nah. <laughs> um, so it comes with age and wisdom and for sure experience. And I think, you know, the more you progress in this and you become comfortable and you nurture your relationships, um, you'll see who's for you and who's going to be long term and or who's just going to be for you know, the moment to kind of help you get to where you need to be. Not saying that you're going to step on them, you know, once you get where you need to go. But like I said, they serve a purpose. Most definitely. Most definitely. I need to, I need, I need to learn from you, honestly. <laughs> I, need I got to, you. <laughs> I, look, I appreciate it. Because you know who, you know who I'm going to pass these lessons down to? Pass them down to the little one. The little Scorpio. Way. You know, the little Scorpio, Nigerian, <laughs> Creole, uh, <laughs> Jamaican mix. <laughs> <laughs> that's right that's what you're supposed to do nah, for, for real you know um i wonder you know for you who's had that type of impact in your life you know who was the one that was that was telling you hey look when you get this is what you this is how you need to conduct yourself this is what um you know this is what you need to be on the on the lookout for mm -hmm. as you maneuver through the as you maneuver through your industry um, I wouldn't say anybody kind of needed to tell me how to conduct myself. I'm mm -hmm. a very observant person naturally. Right. Um, so I'm big on vibes all the time. And if the vibe ain't there, like, Jovi's not going to be there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but in terms of, like, fostering my contacts early on, um, so I went to school to do broadcast journalism because I, I wanted to, you know, be a personality in the media. And it just didn't happen like that. When I got to graduate school, I kind of got turned on to doing um, – class projects and doing PR. And then I kind of just like jumped out the window and was like, oh, I wonder, you know, what it would be like. And so when I started out, I was very fortunate. Like Twitter was crazy. This was like during the time of like Blackberry and BBMs and um, someone that I had connected with, she started this group of publicists. And the first person who um, like embraced me, she was in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. She was my mentor. Like I was just doing pro bono work for clients and she would just be like, supporting um alicia carter i'm gonna shout her out even though she's not in here but she's a g in you know the game of pr 
She's worked with like K. Michelle, Rick Ross, Trina has been like one of her longest running clients. And the very first event that I did was for um, BET Rep the Runway. And like we were waiting for approval to do a never before uh, celebrity gift and suite. And I had to like pull product placement and sponsorship with almost like no, con and like she was just like, I got you. Called her like two days before. I was like, listen, I need lipstick. I need this, this, like product placement. For and she had it shipped. And like, so she's always dropped gems. She's always been supportive. Like, I could, we don't speak all the time, but I could just, I know that if I need to call her for something and vice versa, you know, because she's seen me grown. So right. I really appreciate her. And my girl, Sarita, that I linked you with, like, yeah. I love her down. Like that's that's one of my people's who she'll pass the buck. She's not afraid to you know throw work my way if she can't handle it. And that's the kind of fr friendships and relationships you want in the business where people are not afraid to like let you eat. You know yeah. what I mean? And not to keep the plate full for themselves. So that's real. That's yeah. real. I love I love that. I love how I love how you were able to establish these type of connections with people versus mm -hmm. you know having those that are in your circle that are, that that aren't trying to you know what I'm saying make sure that you that you that you eat as well. Like it's mm -hmm. a it's a real thing to to to, to have those in your in your life. Yeah, wanna... it's room for everybody. It, it's mm -hmm. it's room for everyone. Yeah. for sure. No facts, cause uh, but it, it's weird, you know. Not everyone has that same perception, you know. Mm -hmm. it, and but to keep that circle to keep that tribe like hey, look this table is large enough for all of us it's enough food everywhere everywhere like it's real collaborate uh, over competition for sure i want to uh i want to turn the conversation to to uh your philanthropy your, your philanthropic efforts mm -hmm. um you know you've made a phenomenal impact on the lives of young ladies with their girls uh can right girls the can youth incorporated mm -hmm. um and you guys had the Youth Enrichment Summit. You know, I wanted, I wanted to ask, you know, what really inspired this initiative? Um, so Girls Can Incorporated is um, an initiative that, like, God gave me a vision for it. I want to say maybe, like, 2016. I was in a weird space, um, you know, practicing PR and, you know, with clients, just not really feeling fulfilled. Right. And, um, you know, he was just like, because you have some purpose work that I need you to do for me. And I didn't know what direction he wanted me to go. Like, he was giving me all these ideas. And I was just like, all right, so, like, how we doing this, right? You know? And um, 2018, he told me I needed to move with it. And so I moved with it, and I launched it with the Youth Enrichment Summit, which is um, panel discussions and workshops. And we talk about knowing yourself, knowing your worth, the importance of having role models. We do... Um, the workshops is like body imaging and things like that for the girls. And the, the girls that attend, they come from temporary housing. So they come from either shelters or single parent households. Um, my passion for that to my purpose is for my own personal upbringing experience. Like I come from a background of having a heroin addicted father, um, very functional, like he worked and everything, but he, you know, he had an addiction. And I come from having no relationship, you know, with my mother. Like, she raised me, but she, it just wasn't there. And so I often looked for um, acceptance from my peers and kind of just, like, following behind them and doing the wrong thing um, just to fit in because not getting what I needed, you know, at home. Um, and so I just wanted to use, you know, that experience of not allowing my circumstances to kind of deter me from you know, wanting to be successful, my drive behind that, and just letting them know, like, it doesn't matter, you know, if you come from a broken home, if you come from a, a home that's quote unquote, the ideal for what yeah. society says, because even those homes have issues, right? Yeah. Um, and it just makes me full to be able to inspire those young girls. And so that's, you know, that's how it started. We did the summit, it was in partnership with my church. Um, and then we've done small events in between there, which is a conversation with my big sister. We do like little um, social emotional topics and we have someone come in and speak to them. And then um, we do the summit once a year. I, I wonder, you know, um, and this is just, you know, my, me trying to make random connect connections, right? Um, does, this, does this ever like tie in with your sorority at, 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 at any point? 
Um, my sorors absolutely always support. You know, we have our youth auxiliaries. Yeah. Um, and you know, they've been in attendance to the summit. The girls definitely have come and supported. Um, Soros have sponsored girls to be able to have tickets to attend and things like that. Um, so absolutely, I love it. I love it. Big shout out to the ladies of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority. Absolutely, you gotta yes. make sure you, and my you sister gotta... Greeks in here too. I see my sister Greeks in here. Hey, ladies, <laughs> <laughs> you make sure you gotta, you gotta uh, to anybody that doesn't know, you gotta enunciate that T. When you say say tough, capitalize that baby. That's Capital. right. <laughs> <laughs> they will kill you. Oh. Absolutely. Now, um, I wonder. You know, you you have that. You have that effort, and that's a, that's that's amazing that you're doing that. You know, um, can you speak to that feeling of fulfillment that you get? You know, because um, I I feel like you know whenever I know I know me whenever I do one of these interviews and like it goes up, I'm like man. Mm -hmm. I'm glad, mm -hmm. you know, because I feel like I'm helping the world. Mm -hmm. You know, what about for what about for you? You know, is it like is it something that you feel like I'm just helping out locally, and I know that it it eventually changes the world, or is it something like no, I know for a fact like this can, is going to be something that is global. Um, I can't even describe how like even talking about it now it gives me chills just because I know that that's what I'm you know that's what I'm supposed to be doing. I love you know practicing PR and being in entertainment. That part is my hustle. I've right. always been a person who's been very um, community conscious, no pun intended, you know, Zeta. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> I've always been one to give back. And that was even before becoming a member. It's just, it's just something that is in me to do. Um, and so I've done things with my library for boys and girls um, in partnership with like some of the schools in my neighborhood, just to have them come out like, I've had great sponsors and supports over the years. And I can tell you, there's not been one time that I've done something like that where I haven't cried, you know, during the event. Just to see the kids, you know, them smiling and, and them feeling, you know, seen. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. And that's all it means to me. Like, I don't care if 10 kids show up. That means that's 10 kids that I may feel different that day. Um, and I just look forward to seeing girls can grow. Unfortunately, because of this, you know, COVID, we weren't able to do an in-person summit December of 2020. So I'm looking forward to the summer being able to kind of bring some initiatives back. Hey, look, most definitely. Just let me know how I can help on my end. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm I'm two hours from New York now, so <laughs> it's different. I was, look, I was okay, 20, so you got to make a trip. Hey, look, you know, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll, I'm, I'm for it. You know, anything that anything to help, you know, these um, <laughs> anything to help the youth. I'm mm -hmm. all for it. You know, mm -hmm. um, so I want you know I, I want now let me let me let me let me ask this. You know, you're doing amazing things in, in that in that se in that section of your life, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Being a philanthropist. But let's talk about this this uh, let's talk about this PR really quickly because somebody had the audacity to ask what is PR. Um, no, yeah. we're not going. We're not going to call them out because a lot of people, you know, they really just don't know if that. Listen, it's public relations. But if you ever hear someone say that they are a PR run, because they should never be referring to themselves as a PR, they should say that I practice PR, or I'm a publicist, and that's that. <laughs> yeah. Look, look, y'all hear that, gems. <laughs> Right. Yes. I'm case. like, what? What's a PR? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a public relator. <laughs> I relate to the public. Um, all right. My right. <laughs> oh, but no, but since, sincerely though, what are your um current goals for I know you established Storm PR. Uh what are your current goals for it? And you know, how do your goals reflect you as a person? Mm hmm Um, Storm PR is gonna be ten in April. Nice. Yes. Um, and so, you know, we've, we've done everything from brands in and product placement, special events and publicity. Um, we've worked with networks like BT and Fox and all. Well, I, when I say we, I say me because it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me. I wish I could bring on, you know, a team. Um, but I pref I'm very anal about my work in particular. And so nobody is going to go hard for your own brand than you. Right. Um and so right now, I think I'm trans. I'm transitioning 
happening seemingly into wanting to have uh, more TV and film clients. Mm -hmm. um, but eventually, I would kind of like to just have Storm PR be like my fluff and maybe have like a, well, not maybe, I would like to have a corporate position, um, you know, like maybe a senior vice president or something of publicity. Mm. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. I will, I will. Um, let me know if you, you know, if you still, if you, I know you're not you say you're not hiring, but look, if you need a freelance interviewer, no, if you need a publicist, you, I'm about to tell you, you need to hire me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, all right, we. We, we can make something happen. We can make something happen. Right, um, that's an offline conversation. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that one in, in, in you know, in, in, when we do the phone, when we do the phone thing. Right, um, right. <laughs> Got you. Oh, um, but no, you know, uh, oh my God, I, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I want to talk about, I want to talk about Women's History Month. <laughs> okay. If that's, if, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, it's Women's History Month and, you know, we all should be taking the time out to honor the phenomenal women in our lives. And you know you are a phenomenal woman in my life. Oh, I, thank I, you. I mean it. I I, <laughs> I can't stress it enough. Like I I sing your praises to the day that I die because that was nobody but God. I I don't know how it happened. Like it's I told you how I started following you from when you went viral, spinning, yeah. hopping in yeah. New Orleans, and I don't know. Like God was just like you know just align with him and that's kind of here we are yeah here we are and i'm look and i'm very very much thankful you know for sincerely um no and i want to uh, i know uh to honor someone it looks differently for each person right mm -hmm. so i want to i want to i want to get to know you a little bit better okay i wanted to ask you you know how does someone honor you the right way what is the correct way to pay homage to you um being consistent mm. for me like consistency you know and that's whatever whatever it you know you apply that to be it being yourself um your hustle you know whatever your purpose is just being consistent if you're in my life be consistent um and be your authentic true self okay. yeah and be a change maker. I should have said that first. Be a change maker. Yeah. I mean, you know, look, you all right. I'll be be a consistent change maker. I there you go. You. There you I go. You. Mm hmm That's real. That's real. I, I, I you'll you'll see. <laughs> you'll see. <laughs> I have seen. I have seen the growth. I've seen it. Hey, look, man. You can't. You can't be doing. You can't make comments like that. I'm, <laughs> I'm sensitive. <laughs> I guess the blushing and stuff in front of people, it's not okay. <laughs> it is fun. That's that's you, right? Go ahead. Bask in it. That's true. That's mm -hmm. true. Um, now you you've um you've given me your goals, you know, you you've talked I wonder though, you know, where exactly are you on your path of success? You mm -hmm. know, um or do you feel like there are still things that you need to do? I know you said that you want to become the uh you want to get into corporate being like the assistant vice, like the vice president of, of, of the city. Uh, of, yeah. And so mm -hmm. I wonder, you know, but where, how far away are you from that? And is that like the final, is that like the, one of the final things that you want to do? Or is there even more after that? You know what? Like I'm always full of ideas. Um, right. And so I don't know. I don't have the answer to that because that's all on God. Like, honestly, when I was in college, my plan was like, by the time I'm 30, I'm going to be, you know, finished with both my degrees. I'm going to be established. And by the time I turn 40, I'm going to be chilling. Well, I'm 43. <laughs> so right. I don't know, you know, I don't know what he has in store for me. Only thing I could do is my part so that I meet him where he is with what the doors are that he's opening for me. And that's just really the only way I can answer that question. Like, success really to me doesn't mean titles all the time it kind of just means like the adversities that you overcome to be the best person that you want to be the best version of yourself and i think you know if i was to really be on here and like share my full story you know like i come from um being in a domestic violence relationship i come from being homeless you know i have like childhood trauma and all those things but i don't allow those things to kind of like hinder me I just use them to like push forward because I have two daughters. And so like my only choice 
is to be successful by leading through the example. I can't tell them, you know, like, oh, just get over it, or I can't do that. Thank you, Osama. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I can't do that. So I just have to keep pushing until whenever God feels like, okay, I've done the work for him, that he can just, you know, place me where, where I've, I've been trying to climb to get to. Most definitely. What do you feel like is the, um, you know, and it's crazy, it's, it's crazy um, you know, being, being a parent, you want to make sure that uh, your, your, your children, they follow, you know, the, the things that you, that you, the good examples that you set, mm -hmm. right? What do you feel like it is some of the biggest, uh, the best examples that you've set for them, you know, like the best wisdom that you've imparted through your actions? Um, definitely that I don't give up right like i'm i could i'm probably very not probably i am hard on myself mm -hmm. um but i don't allow that to deter me and so you know my my oldest daughter actually has said that like one of the things that she admires is one um my heart for helping people and you know always giving back and just staying consistent with you know the things that i want to accomplish for myself because it's real easy to, you know, fall off course and feel sorry for yourself and, you know, just feel like, oh, well, the cards that dealt means that you're not supposed to have more out of life. And I don't believe that. And I don't believe in people making excuses, you know, for how they grew up or what they've gone through to be like, they can't have more. Um, and so I only hope that, you know, when my daughters get older and, you know, if I'm not here anymore and somebody asks them questions about me, that they'll just say, you know, my mom never gave up. Awesome. And I'll be and I'll be grateful for that. <laughs> because yeah, it's, yeah. you know, like they've experienced especially my oldest daughter, like she's experienced, you know, some things with me um from her childhood that I'm glad that she saw no matter what, you know, my mom still went to school. I loved her to school with me some days, commuting all the way to Westchester County and getting home like midnight sometimes. And she had school the next day. But, you know, I was trying to get this degree so that I could be the example for her. Like things are going to fall in your path on the way and you just got to, you know, move around them or switch up your walk until you get to the goal. You are a wealth of knowledge. <laughs> like for real. It's like, the experience, I promise you. It's the experience for real. You know, you know I, uh, you know, it's, it's, you know, the, the, the biggest thing for I feel like as, as, like I said, as parents is like, you know, making sure that we go through it all so that the next generation doesn't have to go through even a fraction mm -hmm. of the things that you know, the things that we had to, the trials that we had to face. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, but we will fall short. That's the thing. I've definitely <laughs> fallen short. You know, um, I feel as a mother, because I didn't have the example, um, the only thing that I can do is not be that to them, what I didn't have. So, and that's learning every day. There's no manual that comes with parenthood. So you just have to push forward. You know, it, it, that not having a manual, look, let me tell you, this winging <laughs> it, this winging it, boy, boy. I'm, no manual, okay? No manual. No manual. Yes. You know? And, yeah. and it's, it's crazy. I wonder, you know, did you take, and be real with me, did you take some of the lessons that you had, that you know, some of, you know, that you had with your, with your first child and apply those lessons to your second child? Because I'm thinking, like, so my situation is different, like, what you know, mm -hmm. so I, I'm married, I've been married for nine years, and, and my husband and I, we've been together for 16 years, and right. he is, he is my daughter, my oldest daughter's father, even though he's not biologically, but I've been with him since, you know, she was five years old. So right. some of the things that I experienced with her, the experience is different mm -hmm. for, you know, my, my second daughter, because that is her father. You know, we're married. It's a two parent household. Um, so I think with my oldest daughter, it wasn't so much growing pains, mm -hmm. but um, yeah. I, it may have been growing pains. Like, I, you know, like, I was a single mother. I put myself through college. You know, like, I had my own apartment. And, 
we really thugged it out. You know, like we really thugged it out together. We kind of, you know, like she definitely changed me and Zoe matured me. Mm. For sure. That's real. That's yeah. real. Man, <clears throat> I want you know, I want You probably didn't think you was gonna get all of this in this conversation, hey, right? Look, look, you know, you know, you know these conversations, they go wherever. They go wherever. <laughs> mm -hmm. They do. It gets it gets real. It gets real, you know, and that's that's part that's probably part of the reason why I feel like I feel like closer to people by the end of it because mm -hmm. you know it's like you're you you reveal these aspects of yourself and you know it's a it's an honor to know you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying like because I I take the knowledge on and I'm like okay how can I actually apply this in my life and right. how can I you know how can I you how can I use this to where I make the world a better place for the next person? So for example, like if I see another single mother that's going, that's going through these, through these situations, it's like, okay, well, look, this is, you know, this is what I learned from you. Mm -hmm. Here's how I can, I can pass this on to you and you know what you can do for yourself. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's a, it's a, I feel it's like always you know, a lesson. Yeah. Always. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's a, and that's the thing. Um, I want to talk about something real fast before before I get into the the you know the the goal of the show and all that good stuff. I know. You you the acronym girls. What does it stand for again? Graceful, independent, respectful, loving, successful. How do you reflect that acronym in your day to day life? Um, I thank God for grace every day. I teach my daughters to be independent and respectful um love on them loving i had to learn to love myself all over again um and the goal is always to be successful but that like i said before that doesn't come from titles that just comes from you being pleased with who you are as a person that that could define your success as long as every day when you wake up you know you're proud of who you are as a person whether you are, you know, making six figures or or not, but if you feel like you're impacting the people that you come encounter with or you're paying forward your blessings, that's success. I needed that. <laughs> <laughs> I needed that. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, for real. For real. And I had to I had to teach myself that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you, how do you, what are the steps for, you know, loving yourself again? Healing. Mm -hmm. I had to heal uh, the little girl in me. Like she had to, I had to apologize to her. Um, but she also had to learn that a lot of things that she went through as a child was not her fault. So like having abandonment issues, um, neglect, all of those things. Like, and I saw, um, I think my sore had posted this earlier, like once you heal the little girl in you, then the woman surfaces, the woman you need to be surfaced. And I took a lot of time um, during the pandemic to really heal myself. Like I did therapy, um, a lot of, you know, self isolation, which is something that I do a lot so that I don't project, you know, whatever emotions I may be feeling at the moment. Um, and I just really had to like let go. Some things that I thought that I let go and healed from, I really realized I was harboring them. And they were kind of, not kind of, they were interfering in a lot of areas of my life. And that's just not the environment, you know, like I don't want my daughters to be seeing me being the complete opposite of who I'm saying that I am. Like I can't be on social media like this positive, happy-go-lucky person. And then behind yeah. the phone, I'm just like, yo, <laughs> what is yeah. going on? You know, like, so I really, um, I've seen my sis Stephanie just come in here. That's part of my tribe, too. Um, yeah. Healing. Well, it's important. So it's healing. I got you. I got mm -hmm. you. Healing leads to loving yourself. I mm -hmm. love it. Absolutely. Man. <laughs> I got so much I want to talk to you outside of this show. I gave you my phone number a long time ago. You I know. Like you and I'm finna, only talk to me on Instagram. Yo, I'm finna call you. Like, <laughs> I, it's so it's so it's so crucial for me to call you. Like, it's like, look, okay, I, I, it's yeah, it's crucial. Um, 
But I want to get to the to the goal of this show. Um, Let's and get that to is the goal of the show. Um, and that's philanthropy. You know, you are philanthropists, um, but you know, um, we want to go on the support from the onlookers and put it towards a charity or nonprofit that you care about. Mm -hmm. What charity or nonprofit are we going to highlight today? Mm. And why is the cause of face is so important to you? Um, hmm. I would say anything for women and children in need. Okay. Anything I'm trying to think of one. I got one. Woman called Moses. Okay. Woman called Moses. It. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be the one for the, for this time. And uh, oh, and we can do totality wellness. Totality, totality wellness. wellness focuses on mental health okay. um, with programming for women and children. Well, it, it, there is a, a division for men, but mainly women mm -hmm. and children. Okay. So we're doing Woman Called Moses, everyone, and Totality, totality Wellness. wellness. Mm -hmm. uh, most definitely. And why is it that women and children and mental health are so important to you? Uh, women and children. I was once a woman in need. I was also a child in need. Um, mental health because I'm grateful that I was able to sustain my mental health you know um, with things that I have survived and mental health is really important and that's a conversation that we kind of shy away from as a community as black and brown people it's real like I think we need to bring more awareness to it and not when you know not jumping on a bandwagon when celebrities feel like they're advocates. Like we have people in the trenches that's teaching. Um, like my sis Stephanie, before you ask me who you should interview next, it's her. Okay. Yeah. Got it. The video that I sent to you that you said made you emotional. Yes. That was, that's her project. Hi, Stephanie. Oh, uh, <laughs> definitely gonna DM you. We got stuff we gotta talk about. Uh, mm -hmm. Cause yeah, waterworks. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Most definitely. Yes. So she Most has definitely. a movement. Um, totality. Well, it used to be called Totality of a Woman, and now it's called Totality Wellness. Um, it's stopping the stigma on mental health, right. and so they do trauma informed care. Yes. Absolutely. Most definitely. Most definitely. I love to. I'll be honest with you. Um, you know, we always like to close with wisdom, but I'm gonna definitely. You know, I got the bonus question. That I sent you, you know, we talked about it in the DM. Um, we're gonna talk about it. You know, this <laughs> is gonna be a little. This 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 is gonna be a little bonus bonus at the end. All right. Okay. So this, all right. So when you know when this eventually gets edited and uploaded, that's gonna be like the stuff that people gotta pay for on Patreon. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I want ten percent. Okay. 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 All right. But before we close out, everybody, we always like to close with wisdom for the next generation. And what words would you have for any of these young ladies that want to make a positive impact? on society words of wisdom um mm -hmm. you are not your circumstances um yeah your circumstances don't define you circumstances absolutely don't define you most definitely, most definitely. so remember you circumstances don't define you i'm definitely i love it i love it um all right now we've uh, had this amazing conversation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Girl, you seen this stuff with Derek Jackson? Yes. <laughs> what? Was, oh, oh. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to laugh because I'm really concerned for his wife. Um, I'm really concerned for her. I feel like a wellness check needs to be done. You know, it's it's all fun and games and everybody yeah. with the memes and everybody is kicking on social media. And, right. you know, the blogs are eating it up because it's clickbait for them you oh, know sure. but that's a woman in pain yeah clear pain and th there's a cry for help with her now posting you can see it in her appearance and i i'm really concerned but he's in you know that's why i don't idolize people you know when people post and they sound all you know i never subscribed to him with the advice the advice that he was given i just i see? don't I think that it, the part that the part that throws me is like you know because people idolize celebrities and celebrity relationships, and you're someone that has worked with celebrities, so you know like how human they actually are, right? Mm -hmm. I always, I, which is why for me it's kind of like I I like I want to have this conversation with you because you know 
I feel like you you you've seen like you've seen like when these guys are just normal, right? And so I like, mean they well, absolutely are. They just have access to things that mm -hmm. we wouldn't have access to, you know, right. different tax brackets, but they're yeah. human. Yeah. They're human. Yeah, most definitely. And uh, I, he definitely displayed it, you know. Um, I, I went back and, like, looked at some of his uh, older things that he was saying. It was like, yo, you know, the, the person that you're talking about is yourself, mm -hmm. right? Like, this further down the line, you know. Mm -hmm. um, it, 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 it's it's wild, you know, because I never, I, I wouldn't. Uh, least <sighs> expect it, right? Least. The ones you least expect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I hope nobody watching this think I'm perfect. No, I was. I mean, <laughs> we are all flawed. <laughs> terrible. Right? I was a We're terrible all person. flawed. All flawed, beautiful people. But the problem is when you are out here portraying that you are not flawed and that you have all the answers. And I also, I don't appreciate the fact that like everything with them is faith based, tied into it. Right. Like God is not. He don't like please. His hand is not in that, <laughs> right? Like, and I'm not saying that he's not human and right. he couldn't have made a mistake. Maybe you cheated the first time, and I'm gonna just say for me, like, that's just a deal breaker for me. But I'm just saying, like, maybe you cheated and you you apologize to your wife or whatever. But there's multiple women, <laughs> like, yeah. so there's no there's no mistake. You are not. Um, remorseful right. this is intentional disrespect to your vows to the god mm -hmm. that you say that you know you have this relationship with your servant yeah. and it's um narcissism for me do you think that it's there's a difference in cheating inside of a boyfriend girlfriend relationship than cheating when you're uh, a fiance and cheating when you're actually like married is it like do you like be like be honest? Because I I feel like for me personally, <laughs> uh, um, okay. So I don't condone cheating because it's just like right. if you feel like you need to step outside of your relationship or your commitment, then you just need to be single, right? But right. once you have decided that you want to commit, spending your life with someone. You have now asked for that person's hand in marriage and you have now exchanged vows. Right. That's it. Like, whatever the issue is with you and your mate, your spouse, right. take it to the altar, take it to counseling. Or, you know, if you just can't re reject your flesh, then you just, again, you need to be single. Yeah, that makes sense. That definitely makes like, sense. Like, that's just really... The yeah. answer to the question is yeah. yeah that's the, I got you. I got you. I got. There's no getting around that, right? So no, most deaf, most deaf. Yeah, yeah. I'm praying. For, I'm praying for her. Um, I'm praying for everybody. praise for everybody involved. Praise for everybody involved. Yeah. That's all I'm, just, I'm gonna leave it at right there, right, right there. Mm -hmm. Um, no, but thank you again so much for your time. <laughs> thank you for having me. I appreciate it. This was a really cool interview. I really appreciate it. Thanks to everybody that came in for a frank conversation. Mm -hmm. Shout out to my Soros that was in here. Mm -hmm. I seen one of my frat in here. Cause you know, blue and white is, you know. Yo, you're not gonna do this right <laughs> now, yo. Yo, you're not we're not finna end like we're not finna end like that. I right? we was positive up until like you just came with That's this. That's still positive. That's still yo, positive. Yo, look, look at all the hearts you're getting. Hey yo, stop. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but for real, even you know. All the D9 who was in here, thanks for, you know, popping in. And thank you. I appreciate it. No problem. You know, I like I said, I honor you. I respect you. I speak nothing but life, peace, blessings over you. Likewise. Uh, and I, I, I can't wait to further this relationship with you because I, I you know, oh, my God. Uh <laughs> That's my husband's line brother, Derek. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's my brother. Yes, yes. Okay. I'm not gonna hit you with the Z5, but yes, Z5, y'all, so sweet. <laughs> okay, all right. You have a best amazing evening. Uh <laughs> Don't be like that. That's not attractive. Don't be like that. I'm not. Yo, look. I'm trying to be. I'll just. I, I'm being respectful. I'm. I'm being respectful. Anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and you will. Yes, and you will. <laughs>
<laughs> no, no, but no. Whenever I do tell, like, whenever I, when the story is told and I write a book about my life, I'm gonna be like, yeah, man, the, Zeta, the ladies of Zeta Phi Beta were very much instrumental in my life as I. <laughs> Get you a Zeta and prosper. I'm just saying. <sighs> Thank you so much for joining me for a frank conversation. Thank you. <laughs> I'll see you. Have a good one. You too. Good night. Hey, you guys. Uh, for those that don't know, that's Giovanna, you guys. Big shout out to her. And I'm so thankful, like I said, to have her in my life. She has been very instrumental in me going on this platform. Big shout out to, yes, all the D9 that were in here. Big shout out to uh, the... Uh, <laughs> Ladies and Zeta Phi Beta, as well as the rest of Phi Beta Sigma. No matter what, man, this all D not love. No. Um, yep, that was this evening's installment of a frank conversation. It shall be going up right uh, here in a little bit. And uh, yeah, man, you guys make sure you guys uh, tap in with her for, you know, um, especially if you feel like you can assist with uh, Girls Can Inc. Um, and yeah, man, we have uh, some amazing charities that we ta we tagged. Totally, totality wellness and woman called Moses are the charities that we're going to spotlight. And uh, yeah, you guys, once again, I'm Ezel Moon. And if you enjoy what I do, dollar sign Ezel Moon. Sixty percent goes to powering the show. Forty percent goes to a charity or nonprofit mentioned on the show. So if you decide to give me ten dollars, six dollars goes to making this better. Four dollars goes to totality wellness and woman called Moses. But check this out. Now, if you give me ten thousand dollars, six thousand dollars goes to powering this, and four thousand goes to these charities. And yeah. Um. Anyway, thank you guys again. Once again, I'm Isa Moon. I'm not doing it unless it's fun and it helps people. Peace. Purchase my book, Purple Mike Wants a Bike, at Amazon.com. You can find it there. Just type in Purple Mike, type in Ezo Moon, and it'll pop up. If you guys want to follow me, no, not even if, go follow me at Ezo Moon underscore on Twitter and Instagram. I'm Ezo Moon, and I'm not doing it unless it's fun and it helps people.